Totally new typeface for Android. Modern yet approachable, and it was built from scratch for high definition, paper density displays. In fact, this entire presentation has been set in robotics. <coughs> With that solid typographic foundation, we then set out to give Android a total makeover. We wanted a break with the past. No more of that UI that pretends to be something that it's not, fake wood and fake brushed metal and plastic. But we didn't want something intellectual and sterile where everything looks the same either. We wanted something relevant, emotional. And we looked to the latest trends in graphic design to inspire us. Television motion graphics, web design, and print. And we started by looking at every screen and thinking of it like a magazine layout. Not lists of text with icons where everything's the same, but big, bold pictures with giant headlines that just suck you right into the content. We wanted simple, typographic layouts with plenty of white space, eliminating lines and boxes and unnecessary decoration. And we wanted to view everything with subtle animation and delightful flourishes. So really make Android come alive. So let's see it in action. Android's totally new look starts right here on the lock screen. And I love it. It makes me smile every time I see our new lock screen. The Roboto font sets the big, beautiful clock. And it's a perfect stage for your wallpaper, your content, that magazine about you. And speaking of wallpaper, in Ice Cream Sandwich, we've updated the live wallpaper as well. With some really rich, gorgeous, subtle animations. This is my favorite, these animated beams of light rising up to the sky. And you can also see at the bottom the nice animated flourish inviting you to unlock the phone. Once you do that, you see one of the other major innovations where we've reinvented one of the basic ways you interact with the device. Galaxy Nexus has no buttons, so we've taken all that core navigation, including back and home, and made them part of the Android software UI. As you touch them, they light up. With nice little animations, and more than just attractive, virtual buttons are more useful. Individual buttons hide when they don't do anything, and they rotate so that the icons are properly aligned. In fact, we hide them entirely when you watch video, so you can really take advantage of that full HD screen. So while redesigning Android, we touched every screen on the device. And we didn't just focus on how it looks, we spent just as much time on how Android works. We wanted to make everything simple, consistent, and fast. So we replaced boring button pressing gestures, uh, presses with gestures. We made sure that you do the same thing the same way everywhere across all of Android. And we took all of the actions that you do every day and put them front and center. So one of people's favorite parts of Android is their home screen. It's your personal space. We already talked about the wallpaper. Um, and you can swipe around to explore this space, left and right. Each one of your home screens can be as minimal or as jam-packed as you want. And this gesture to navigate, the swiping left and right, is so satisfying that we're using it consistently across <coughs> all of Android to flip between similar screens. Android's home screen is more than just a place to launch applications. It's a home for widgets. And widgets are awesome because they let you see deeply into your content without having to go anywhere. You can have your calendar, your email, your social circles. In Ice Cream Sandwich, we made them more beautiful. We made them more powerful by introducing scrolling and stacks. But our main focus was making them easier than ever. So we started by making them simple to find. We put them in the same place you keep the other stuff on your home screen, your apps. Now, in Ice Cream Sandwich, you'll see the same left and right swipe gesture to page through applications. And at the top, there's a widgets tab. So it's easy to find, and again, page through all your widgets. Now, they're really simple to add. You just pick them up and drag and drop it to the home screen you want. And best of all, widgets are now resizable. So you can get your home screen exactly the way you want it. It's really your space. Now let's talk about folders. Folders are a powerful feature a lot of people already love on Android. But in Ice Cream Sandwich, we've made them dead simple to use. Super simple to make. Again, you just drag and drop one app on top of another. And adding more just means you drop more. They're super simple to organize as well. Once you have your folder the way you want it, 
you again use the same gesture, pick up, and move it around. And you can see the other icons scoot out of the way to make room for you. But the home screen is for more than just apps, and folders are for more than just apps as well. If you want to keep your favorite people at your fingertips, you can make a folder of speed dial shortcuts. And speaking of keeping things at your fingertips, Ice Cream Sandwich also lets you customize your favorites tray at the bottom of the screen. You can even put folders in your favorites tray. So now, my friends and my favorite apps are just one click away, no matter which screen I'm on. So, Android has always been acclaimed for the strength of its true multitasking system. You don't have to worry about which apps are running or how much memory they're using. It's super powerful, and we think it's not just for power users. So we added an icon to open up your recent apps so that it's quick to switch from anywhere. We show big, beautiful thumbnails so you immediately see what you're switching to. But just because Android can handle all of these apps doesn't mean that you always want to. Sometimes you want to focus on doing just a few things. So with a simple flick, you can toss away any application that you're done with. So let's look at another fun thing that you can use everywhere. One that a lot of you have been asking for. You can see this game I've been playing, and you all see my high score, but anybody who didn't stay up to watch the live stream, there's no way I can brag to them, right? In Ice Cream Sandwich, I hold down power and volume down to capture a photo of any screen. And after a fun little Polaroid animation, the picture is saved to the gallery, ready to share. One of my favorite features of Android is the notification system. From the beginning, Android has been designed to put you in control. In Ice Cream Sandwich, notifications are better than ever. They're more than just a list of icons and text. Applications have complete flexibility of what goes into them. And you can see we've added big, beautiful images of the people you're talking to. In Ice Cream Sandwich, we're also introducing a music player control for notifications. So you can pause and skip tracks without ever leaving an application, just by pulling down your notifications. But not all notifications are created equal. If some notifications don't seem quite so important, you can toss them away with that same satisfying flick I showed you before. That way you can keep the other more important notifications to follow up on later. Now we made notifications also faster than ever before. What if your phone buzzes in your pocket or if you pick it up and see that the LED is pulsing? Well, right from the lock screen, I can peek into my notifications and jump instantly to the one I care about. So, while we're here in messaging, let's talk about text. Great text input is just critical for a communication device. So we gave the keyboard a lot of love in Ice Cream Sandwich. It's more accurate and more responsive, and it got a makeover as well. We improved error correction. The suggestion script is easier and more accurate, with big targets for your most common substitutions. And finally, we added an inline spell checker. So with one tap, you can choose from multiple suggestions or add new words that you may have just learned to your dictionary. We improved cut, copy, and paste, and made it consistent throughout all of Android. Just hold down on the word you want to enter text selection mode, then drag the handles to select what you want. Once you have the text you want, you can cut, copy, and paste it, or just drag it, and place it where it needs to go. But just because we're texting doesn't mean that the keyboard is the best way to write. One of the most popular ways to enter text on Android has always been our talk to type feature. You just press the microphone button on the keyboard and speak. In Ice Cream Sandwich, we're making this feature even better by making it instant. <coughs> hey man, I'd love to talk right now, but I'm a little bit busy, period. I'll catch up with you later, okay? Question mark, smiley face? <laughs> Even though I paused to think about what to say next, I didn't need to press any buttons. So, 
Remember how I said we focused on making the things you do all the time super easy and super simple and dead simple up front? Well, what's the one thing you do more than anything else with your phone? You unlock it. So why should you have to remember a password or a PIN? Your phone really should just recognize you. With Ice Cream Sandwich, we've invented a totally new approach to securing your device. We call it Face Unlocked. And I think it's going to completely redefine the relationship we have with our phones. <coughs> Using state-of-the-art facial recognition technology, Ice Cream Sandwich literally knows your face. Let's see what happens when Anand tries to unlock my phone. <laughs> nope, that's not going to happen. But when the phone sees me, oh, really? Are you going to be like that? <laughs> nope. Oh, I guess this makeup was a little stronger than I expected. <laughs> I'll show it to you in the demos. Um, but we really love it. We didn't stop with the entire system. We paid the same level of attention to all of the Android apps that you know and love. And to show them to you, I'd like to introduce Hugo Barra, Android's Director of Product. Thanks, Matthias, and hi, everyone. Um, I have three things to talk to you about today. Core apps. Photos and people. Let's 